welcome back to the channel. It's another uh, episode here of uh, Levy's Farms. I haven't uh, put out a video for I think four or five days now, so we're due for another one. What I'm going to do today is uh, start building uh, two more raised garden beds. So uh, right now we have we have two raised garden, or uh, three raised garden beds at the farm. Um, they're they're eight feet long by four feet wide, and uh, I got some uh, some wood here, and uh, they're all eight feet long. So I'll have to make a couple cuts and start building some raised garden beds. Here's the uh, the two garden beds that we have right now. We got some uh, cucumbers and tomatoes, some beans in that one, and uh, here's here's our other one here. We just have this little uh, little raised garden bed here. We have lettuce in that one. Some onions, lettuce, some beans uh, from Jordi Vino, uh, which is my wife's sister. She lives out uh, out west, and she sent us some some bean seeds to plant. So hi Jordi, hi Sean. Here's some uh, some peas that we got growing. They're doing really well. They just got uh, use this little piece of chicken chicken wire fencing to uh, to let them crawl up, but I'll eventually I'll have to extend it upwards so they have support. So here's the wood that I got from the local uh, sawmill here, uh, just around Bridgewater here. Uh, I got some eight foot long boards, and uh, I don't know how wide they are. They're they're eight eight inches wide so we're gonna have a eight inch deep raised garden bed i'll have to get some soil here in the next couple days once i have them built but we're gonna we're gonna build two more because uh, this year we planted and we figured out that we didn't have enough uh, enough room for everything that we that we planted so uh, we're gonna start here So because of the wood that uh, that I got there from the local mill, it's not like wood that you buy at uh, Kent or, or Home Hardware where the, the dimensions are exactly on eight feet. Uh, these boards are a little bit over eight feet, so that's why I had to kind of uh, square them up on one end and then take an eight foot measurement and make sure they're eight feet exactly because uh, they were a little bit over. Anything milled is a little bit over. So I cut uh, two... two uh, boards that are going to, be going to become the uh the Daddy, length eight foot walls how do you look it's what five. oh yeah yeah so it's eight feet exactly so what i just did there was uh made sure it was eight feet because the two ends are going to be four feet so now i'm going to cut this uh, board in half at, at four feet uh so i can have both ends so some of the footage earlier there uh when i was building this uh raised garden but earlier today I, I was editing the video tonight and uh, some of the video got deleted off my phone so I'll be shooting some here to update of what I did unfortunately uh, that's some real good footage of me building the raised garden bed but uh, like I said I got deleted but here's the uh, finished product here the finished product here it's uh, I think it's gonna do pretty good. We just have to find a spot for it now. I'm gonna build uh, the next one tomorrow, I think, if it's nice out. But uh, it's eight inches high or eight inches deep, uh, four feet wide by eight feet long. Um, I think we're gonna put it over here. We got one here and one in behind there, but I think we're gonna put one maybe over here or maybe right here. I'm not sure yet. Baby, do you wanna go into the coop? Huh? I let the uh, baby and a couple hens out all day long and then usually let him in the coop uh, around dusk. I want to go in. 
fall me right down. Here, baby. Time to go in. Hey, let's go. You guys all ready for bed? Huh? So earlier today, uh, my son Owen and I moved some birdie hens over to the other coop here uh, that we use for meat birds in the summertime. Uh, I was gonna put the uh, birdie hens in uh, in a metal crate inside the chicken coop, but the metal crate didn't fit. So what we ended up doing was we uh, we put them in this one here behind me here. And for birdie hens, you gotta you gotta give them a place where there's no nesting box, food and water, and uh, no eggs for them to sit on. It usually takes three to four days for the broodiness to go. Um, the way you tell the, the broody is they want to sit on eggs all all day and all night. And these these guys here, these three hens, have been sitting uh, in their nesting boxes for about a good good month, month and a half. I haven't got around to to breaking them, but let's see how they're doing. Oh, he's still broody. You can tell he fluffs right up. And he wants to get out and find his eggs. This guy here, uh, we hatched out on the farm last year. He's an Americana, mixed with a Splash Orpington. You can tell they're Americana because of the, uh, see the beards they have here up front. It's kind of hard to tell because this guy's fluffed up. Oh, but uh, there's a big beard right there in front on his neck. And those are uh, those are common Americanas. The other two are, uh, the other two are also we hatched out last year on the farm. Um, and they're, uh, I forget what breed they are. I think they're Splash Orpingtons as well. But this guy here is mixed with Americana. So they have food here. They got water. They got a little, uh, little perch set up. So they'll be okay. We're going to keep, uh, keep them hens in there for, uh, for about three days. Let's just walk up here to the, uh, the pig pen see what the pigs are doing they've recently been using their uh, their pig shelter up here which is nice to see the other night we had a lot of rain so I think they figured out you know instead of sleeping in the little clump of woods that they sleep in here that uh, it's nice to uh, here pick 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 you probably think I have food here but I fed them earlier Usually feed them in the morning and then at uh, around six six thirty at night. But they're getting they're getting pretty big. I'm glad they're using their uh, their pig pen. They're going up to their feed buckets to see see if I put any feed in. I guess. Look at feed left. A little bit of feed there. Usually at night, when I feed them, I give them a bucket full of uh, kitchen scraps and a little bit of grain. There's some uh, some stuff that's been left over from uh, what I got of Hebs today as well. Yeah, pick, 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 pick.
usually he's funny because when one guy comes and drinks, the other two come and drink. When one guy goes and eats, the other two go and eat. They kind of uh, stay in pairs, I guess. So it's unfortunate that uh, I lost some footage there of me building that uh, raised garden bed, but I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna try building another one tomorrow night. And maybe I'll set up the camera and get some more footage. And uh, I'm gonna check back on those broody hens. It usually takes three to four days for the broodiness to break. You can tell when you reach your harm in and they don't fluff up anymore and they kind of run away. Uh, that's kind of when you know when they're the broodiness is gone, so I was losing three three eggs a day from those hens that are just sitting in sitting in nesting boxes trying to hatch their own. Anyway, the sun's just going down here, so thanks a lot guys for watching another episode here. Until next time.